So I have now got the Trojan T105 batteries sold. I got £300 for them, which was uh, quite good. And the guy who bought them was just going to use them in a camper. Um, just two parallel strings for 12 volts. So what I'm doing today is uploading the new software to my balance modules. Uh, the one, it's a software that gives me the very brief LED flash. Uh, so it's not on for a second and off for a second, it's uh, just a very quick flash which will help to save power. So what I'm going to do is go through the process um, of how I'm updating the software. So I've currently got it attached to um, this one here that I've, I've just done. Uh, some of the modules are, are bringing the cells up are letting the cells go to a higher voltage than I would like. You can see that number 6 is up at uh, 3.511 there and I'm not too happy about that. So what I'm doing is just going through them all and uh, uploading the new software. Okay so it is now connected to one of the modules with the old software. So the first thing we do is um, you'll notice in my code that um, this calibration factor I mentioned um, in one of my previous videos, that's really important. And we've also to put it down there. Uh, and that's just so that um, over serial it tells me what the calibration factor is. And uh, and that's what we adjust to calibrate them. So I don't upload the new software, I have to find out what the old calibration factor was. So if we go in the serial monitor, so it's 1.109 uh, Because say I was just to upload this, it'd be wrong uh, And that wouldn't, that wouldn't be very good at knocking the voltage off a bit So 1.109 And that one that we're just on, this is cell number 5, you've just uploaded the software to It's actually it was actually just slightly high there, aye, but that might have been because I was uploading the software and it wasn't actually active. I've got another charger connected to this just now, just keeping them up um, so I can test these balancers. Uh, I can maybe bring that cell down, but uh, number 6 is definitely concerning me a little. That's up at 3.511, so we'll move on to that one next. So all we need to do now uh, is just set this calibration factor so we could just take it down by um, 0.002 at a time and that would probably bring it into line. So upload that and see what it does to that voltage. It's number 6 we're looking at. Now it's going to go up quite a bit because uh, we're uploading just now but it should start to bring it down. And just a little bit. Yes, uh, we increased the value. I was meant to actually decrease it. If you decrease it, you'll decrease the balance voltage. I set it the wrong way there. Okay, after playing that about with it, um, Increasing this value up here actually reduces the the voltage that it balances at, so increasing that brings the voltage down more. Uh, it's still at 3.511, so I've just got to keep adding adding to this until I uh, can get the voltage down a bit. So it's just uploading that just now. So that's cell number six. That's uh, the problem. So that's um, that being brought pretty much into line now. So I'll just need to go on uh, install the firmware onto the, onto the remaining two, and that should be it. Okay, but. Uh, one thing to remember is these only have 10 bit ADCs in them, which means that you only get 
1024 possible values which then have to get divided up to make the actual voltage so uh, the resolution of them isn't fantastic really um, but after uploading new software and recalibrating uh, they're all um, pretty much in line now as you can see not perfectly because there are only 10 bit ADCs inside these so you won't get perfect precision but near enough so I'm reasonably happy with that I'll just leave them a little bit while longer just to balance the pack like that and then I'll switch the charger off It's just a better view of them all flashing away there. And when when they all appear to be flashing at about the same rate, uh, which I think is about now actually, I could stop the charge. So I could stop the charge just now and see what happens. And now all you're seeing is the flashing status LED. So that looks a bit better. So one of the one of the viewers commented that the cell log device is only powered off the first six cells of the battery. And uh it seems he was right because um when I did the balance today, uh, the first six cells, uh, no lights were showing, and these two here, number seven and eight, came up first, and uh, they were solid on. So I'm not going to leave the cell log connected all the time anymore, uh, due to it not being evenly powered. I only connect that up for monitoring. Maybe a future feature that I can add to, to this, it will be really difficult, but what I could do is have them, the LEDs tell me the voltage. So I think the status LED, so say the battery was at 3.45 um, say, so it would flash 1, 2, 3 then quick, then 1, 2, 3, 4, then pause 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it would be something like that. Uh, no idea how it would do that but I think that would be a good way just to show the voltage without having to connect up any meters ok so one final thing I'd like to do is see what the power consumption is now see if we've uh, lowered it any so I'll just connect this one up here just trying to grasp this wire So I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a little bit lower. We're getting up to 6 milliamps, I think. Um, 5 or 6 milliamps uh, the last time when that status LED was on. So we've reduced it a little bit. So I think we're pretty much done. Uh, I will upload into the description the code for the new software. Um, if it's of use to anyone. Because I'd imagine uh, if anyone are, are are building these large LiPo four banks, then something like this would be really useful. It's it's reasonably cost effective. It's good value for money rather than spending. I believe it was about fifteen to twenty pounds per module. I was looking on the GWL Power website, and uh, management modules are pretty expensive. Uh, just just for a single module for a cell, that was quite bad.